In this video, I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an email campaign on Kajabi. Email campaigns are great for sending out a ton of valuable information to your audience, increasing traffic to your affiliate links, as well as any products or services that you sell. So whenever you have a product or service that's coming out, the way that you can get people to purchase it is through an email marketing list because you're able to send them multiple emails over the span of a few weeks in anticipation for the thing that you're selling. However, in order to get people to sign up for the email list, you need to have what's called a lead magnet, which is something that you offer for free, like a PDF or worksheet that gives your audience a ton of value. There are many different types of lead magnets. And if you're interested in all the ways you can lead people to sign up for your email list, you guys can check out my other videos on Kajabi. I've used Kajabi to build up a newsletter with over 5,000 subscribers currently. And it's been a huge help in allowing me to market and sell my courses online, as well as my coaching. Kajabi allows you to do this really easily through their email campaigns feature. So keep watching because if if you're new to Kajabi or you want to learn how to easily set up an email marketing list to sell your products through email marketing, then this is the video for you. I'll also be leaving a link down below in the description for any of you guys that are interested in getting started with Kajabi. And while Kajabi is not the cheapest platform out there, I truly believe that if you add up all the different features, then it really is a no brainer because it's actually very, very affordable. So yeah, the link is gonna be down below. It's gonna take you to a free trial of Kajabi. And yeah, personally, I run all of my websites through Kajabi. It's a great Great, great platform and also allows me to host my courses, build funnels, do email marketing, have a community and all that stuff. And so now I'm actually going to take you guys through Kajabi and show you step by step how to build an email marketing campaign. All right, so if you guys go to the description down below and you click on that link, bit.ly slash Kajabi start now, it's going to take you to this page, which allows you to start a free trial of Kajabi. But if you guys already have Kajabi, let me show you guys how to actually create your email marketing campaign. So in the dashboard, you're going to go to marketing and then email campaigns. And here's where we're going to see any past campaigns we've sent out. And up here, we have the ability to click on plus new email campaign. So here I'm going to select whether or not I want to do an email broadcast. So this is basically going to be a single email that you can use to you know, promote a product, share news, or stay connected, or you have the ability to do an email sequence. So this is sort of similar to this, except it's multiple emails. So a series of emails that can be triggered by an automation. So since we're trying to create an email marketing campaign, this is generally always going to be multiple emails and you do want this to be triggered by some type of automation. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to have me enter in a title for my email sequence. This is going to be completely internal, so it doesn't really matter what you choose. It's more for your own reference. So I've named mine email sequence test one, and I'm going to click continue. Here, it's going to allow me to select a template. One great thing about Kajabi is that they have a ton of different templates and they're always adding more. So I encourage you guys to sort of scroll down here, take a look at some of these different templates and see which one works best for you. So for this one, I'm just going to choose this template right here, bridge, and you can click get started right here. It's going to have you enter in a title for this email. So this is also going to be internal. So your audience is not going to see it and I'll click create. So here it's going to have you select which day this email is sent out. So right now it's set to day one. Basically, this means that this email that we're about to create is going to be sent one day after someone subscribes to the sequence. We can also set this to zero if we want this email to go out right when they actually subscribe. Or of course, we can change it to two, three, four, five days or whatever you want. I'll leave this for day one. And like I said earlier, this is our internal title. So this is what you see. And then here, the subject and preview text. This is what the audience is going to see in their inbox. So we can just create some type of subject title. Kajabi does recommend that you keep this 140 characters or less. Okay, not the best title, but just something that I thought of right now. And of course the preview text, they also want you to keep this under 140 characters. So something like that. And what you're going to go to now is you're going to launch the email editor. So I'll click on that, or I can also click here. So this is going to pull up the actual editing interface where I can create this email. So since we use a template, it's already pre-populated with a few things. We have a little title up here slash logo. You guys can click on this and actually choose which logo you want. Obviously, you probably don't want this unless your name is Macy Bridge or your business is called Macy Bridge, which probably not the case. But what you're going to do is you'll come here, select image, upload a new file, or you can select a recent file. You can also have that go to a specific URL if you want. You can change the width. So if I want this bigger, let's say I can set it to 250. It's going to make it bigger. 
or I can make it smaller, 100. It's going to show you the preview in real time. I can change the alignments. I can change the background for the section, all that stuff. So after that, I'll click save. Then I can click this if I want to change this picture. Of course, select image, upload a new file. Here's where we're going to change the text, right? So I'll click on this. And what I recommend doing is clicking full screen right here to more easily edit the text. Only drawback is that you can't see what it looks like as you are writing it, but I basically just go between the two. So I'll click on that. I can enter the text here, something like that, right? So I'll click this. I'll see what it looks like. Of course, you can always edit from here too. Let's say I want to put a link here just to show you guys. I can highlight this. I'll click insert slash edit link. And I'm actually going to type out that link right here. So let's say we want to go to yahoo.com. We want to set the text to display as link and then OK. And then now when they click on link, it's going to actually take them to that website. We can also play around with buttons like this. If you don't want something, you guys, you can always delete the section, right? So the templates are meant to be changed and customized. You don't need to keep every element that's already on here. You guys can absolutely delete any pictures that you don't want or sections. And you can even add new sections sections if you want. After doing this, I'm going to click save and I'm going to click back. I'll click back again and it's going to take me back to this page, right? So we'll just make sure that everything here looks good. I'll scroll down here. I'll click save and cool. Yeah. So let's say we have this fully done. What I recommend doing is clicking send test email. This is going to allow you to choose any email that you want to send a test email to just to make sure that it looks okay and the formatting is okay. So after doing this, I'm going to come out here to email sequence test one, and you can see this is the day one email. I can add a trigger and to do that. I'm going to click this and click add trigger. So this is basically like programming, right? When this action happens, then this happens. So I'll click here. I'm going to select whichever one I want it to be. And there's tons and tons of different ways you can actually, you know, subscribe someone to this email sequence. One that you guys are probably going to use is when a form is submitted or when an event event is registered for the form submitted. This is basically when you have something like a uh, enter your email and name to get this free PDF or something, or you don't even have to offer a freebie. It can just be, you know, enter in your name or email or whatever it is. That's going to submit a form within Kajabi and you'll be able to actually, you know, sign them up for this email sequence. So let's say I want to select that. And of course I'll select whichever form I want it to be. So for this case, let's say default form and then I'll click save. And this is basically going to create this automation to trigger the email sequence being sent out. Of course, you can get really creative with this, right? You can do it when an offer is purchased or granted. You can do it when people are inactive for X amount of days. You can do it when a quiz is completed, failed or passed. You can do it when a lesson is completed within your course. And yeah, tons and tons of options for this, but we'll leave it as this for now and I'll click save. Cool. So now we have this one email sequence test one, right? It's triggered when someone submits a form to that default form. We can also create an unsubscribe trigger if we want, but for this one, I'm just going to not do that. And of course, we're going to want more and more emails, right? So I'm going to click add new email. It's going to have me, of course, select another template. Let's say this time I want to just do a really simple text one. So I'll click on this one, click get started, enter in the title for this email. This is of course internal email two create. And here I'm going to select which day I want it to be sent out on. So we can have it on let's say day three so that there's a one day gap or sorry, two day gap. I'm going to select the subject preview text again. I won't bore you guys with this. You guys will edit the content just like before, and then you'll click save. We'll go back here to our email sequence test one. Now you can see there's day one test email one, and then there's day two email number two. Once this is actually sent out and starts sending out to people, it's going to show you the number of times it was sent. They'll show you the open rate, the clicked rate. So this is for any links within your actual email, as well as the unsubscribe rate. You guys can also look at the different settings right here. So a ton of different things you guys can customize here. You can look at a report of your email sequence. So this is going to show everything. And of course, you can see which people are subscribed to this email sequence by clicking on this. So of course, this one doesn't have any subscribers, so it's not going to show anyone. But yeah, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to add new emails until you are happy with how many emails are sent. You're going to make sure you have the right subscribe trigger. That's very important. And then voila, there you have it. That is your email marketing sequence made in Kajabi. Like I said earlier, the link to Kajabi is going to be down below. It's going to take you to this exact landing page where you can sign up for a free trial. And yeah, super, super recommend Kajabi if you want an all-in-one platform. It's not the cheapest, but it's going to be really cheap if you actually use all the features. And it's definitely a platform
platform that I'm very, very happy with. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and free tutorials, helping you build your business. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.